Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Um, this is a new Etsy listing that I'm super excited to show you guys. It's Today we're just making this. It's surprisingly super easy. I did this in a past subscription, but I wanted to make it available on Etsy as well with new papers, but it is a, same, a similar pattern I have done before. So that's kind of the gist of it, but I'll link everything. So make sure to go check it out and let's just jump right into it. Making this kit is super easy. The hardest part is cutting it. And then from there, it's just smooth sailing. So go ahead and cut out all your pieces and then ink them. So grab all the squares you want. You need five squares. The, the kit comes with six because uh, there's just one extra, but you only need five. So go ahead and grab your five squares and decide kind of how you want each square to look. This is my first square and that's how I want it to look. So I've grouped everything together and I'm ready to go. There's square two, square three, this, the fourth square is going to be blank, and then my fifth square is this one down here. So what you're going to do is just plan out how you want it, decide what you want as your cover, your top one. This is going to be your cover. So I've decided my order here. And then grab this piece and make sure you score all of these mini rectangles so that each one is extremely foldable and bendable from both sides. On both sides, it should be very, very bendable. Then just lay it down and you are just going to go ahead and glue down each square. So you are just going to start at the bottom, add some glue, grab your bottom square and add it on. And be careful not to, I always, always, always accidentally put my little square over the crease but you want it just under the crease so that it can still bend the same way. So there's one. And then you're just going to keep moving up. Glue. Grab your next square. Glue, press it down. And move on. Make sure that your glue isn't sticking to any of the squares. If you're messy like me, then yeah, you'll have to make sure that that didn't happen. Okay, so here's where we are now. It's super cute, pretty much ready to go. Um, grab in the kit, there's two of these. This is the one I'm choosing for today. This is the other one, just a blank one. And you're going to flip to your last page which is this one. And essentially, you don't want any glue on the back of it. It's gonna go here and you don't want any glue on the back of it. But you go under both layers and you're gonna just measure it out, so. Okay. First, just grab that extra piece of paper and you're just gonna fold it over and get the measurement for it. Like that. And then I'm just gonna cut mine because I don't want all that extra paper, but if you do, that's fine. Okay, so mine is cut and ready to go. I'm not gonna ink mine, feel free to ink yours if you want. Okay, then open it up and fold down all your papers and sneak it under. I'm gonna lower mine too, so I'll try to get you guys a better angle. But you're gluing this onto that final square, like that. Make sure it's all flattened out because you, you it needs to be laying flat while you glue it. All right, and then go ahead and add the glue on the entire strip. And just glue it down. If you did it right, you should be able to grab the sides of the band you just glued and pull the very back 
and it should look like that. Your kit comes with these three little tabs that you're gonna you're gonna use as a pull tab essentially. So you just gotta decide which one you want. I kind of like this white Christmas tree one, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. Then you're just gonna go ahead and glue it onto this back piece. I'm just going to put it down really lightly so I can flip it over and decide if it needs to be centered more or adjusted like that. Good, and I'm just going to let that dry. All right, so now comes the fun part where you get to decorate each page. Um, I already have mine all laid out. But you can do it however you want. You can get some ideas from me. Whatever you're whatever you need to do. Okay guys, time for a little walkthrough. I went ahead and decorated all my pages and here is what we got. So this first one, I just have two little tags inside of this cute pocket, some ephemera from the kit. This is some of my own personal supplies I found. And this is from the November stickers that can be bought as a subscription or as a separate thing. Okay, then on this page, I just kept it extremely simple. Um, here's the stickers. Well, here's the page I mostly used. So that would be really cute to add something on that page. Next page. Um, this is a pocket. With a little pocket with a little ticket. Some ephemera from the kit and a sticker. This page, I loved it wanted to keep it blank and then this page two pieces of ephemera and then this is the bottom page and so I went ahead and covered up that band with this white writing space and then two stickers the kit comes with tons and tons of ephemera so there's definitely some I didn't use that are really cute um, but yeah that's the gist of it and then you just pull it when you add this into a journal when you add this into a journal you want to make sure to just glue down this belly band thing do not put any glue on this backing paper or it won't do this little thing yeah i hope you guys liked this video if you're interested in these papers you can go check them out they're called the north pole collection on etsy um, I'll link this kit specifically as well as the coordinating items. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope you just have a lovely day.